Hello, this is Cat Dad Things, and we're back in Guild Wars 2. This time around, I figured I'd make a gold farm video. It's not like the most intense gold farm that you've ever seen. It's not, of course, will net you the most gold per hour, but it's a casual gold farm. You might like it, you might not, I don't know. But here it is. Enjoy. We have made it to our destination on the map, and where we're at this time for this gold farm if you look in your main overview map, we're in Ascalon. Zoom in just a little bit. We're in the Iron Marches. See right here. And you just go to the front side of the map. Even if you have the waypoints or not, it's called Viper's Run. So right from the center, you just go a little bit north. It's kind of in like this grayed out area, Crystal Swept Groves. That's the destination of our farm. Now, there are so many different ways to farm gold in this game. Um, there's so many guides on there, there's so many guides on, on the internet, and wikis, like what's the best, optimal. I try to take a more casual approach to my video games just because I don't like being stuck with, oh, what's meta and, you know, you're wasting your time if you don't do this and get the maximum amount of money for your time. And, and that's nice and sometimes I like doing that, but other times I like to keep it more casual just because it's more enjoyable instead of making it another job because a lot of us... We don't have all the time in the world. You know, we do have jobs and other things that we do. So this gold farm, it does like, it does work for me. So all you have to do is come out just a little bit and you start fighting different branded types of units, you know, branded char, things like that. And what they do is they drop this pile of luminous dust. Now this stuff always sells good. As long as I've been playing the game, it always sells for a decent price. Now it will fluctuate a little bit, but just one of them nets you right now seven silver 61 copper like that's that's pretty good for an instant sale you look down here at the sell orders they go over eight silver um, again it can fluctuate it just depends but depending on how you want to just casually maybe you have you know a youtube video up maybe you have something on your second monitor and you're just like i don't want to have to think about getting gold right now i just want a brain dead farm just make it happen you can do it like this See, look, already another pile of luminous dust. So and I've killed, and, and there's another one. And I barely killed a couple mobs. So for my setup, I'm running a warrior because that's my main. That's pretty much all I play. And I'm not doing any crazy build. I just have the ferocity, precision, you know, vitality build that I have in my PvP um, video. Just running some signets so I don't have to think about using much actives or skills, really. I just focus on what's in front of me. These mobs, even though you're scaled down, to level they die extremely fast so it's not that bad but you can see other people are here they're trying to do the farm also but there's so many mobs here that it's it's really not a problem it's it's not a problem at all there's plenty to share plenty to go around you just kind of go and do your thing now this a lot of the drop rate um can rely pretty heavily on your magic find um this this is good for new players too like if you're just trying out the trial of the game and you only have the base game and you're trying to figure out, oh, do I want to spend more money on the game? Or how can I just make gold in these uh, original, you know, Tyria zones? Like like I showed on the map before, it's a level 50 to 60 zone, right? Iron Marches. So you can get there with just the base game. The content is ac accessible to absolutely anyone. Now, something that can help you with your grind, if you have just a little bit of money to invest, I like to use this, the flask of pumpkin oil, because it increases your magic find by 30%. So right off the bat, you get a little boost. You can use the all, the item boosters and things like that. I prefer to save those for other activities. But I mean, this is so cheap. Like right now, we just had the Halloween event. You go to buy, look at that, 78, just for one. And it lasts a half hour. So it's definitely worth it. So the magic find that I have on this character, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Magic fine. 188. Which is pretty high, so it does increase my chances chances of getting the drops. But if I throw on this, slap it on there, go back, it's at 218 now. And that really just gives you a nice solid ability to start grinding out these mats to just get you some, some extra gold. It's not the best, most efficient gold farm out there, like I said. But it is a decent one that you can do brain dead. You don't have to think about it. You just run in circles. You have a little route here. So I like to start right from the waypoint. I come down here. I circle around, depending on how busy it is. And I just kind of loop around. The mobs barely change as you go up. 
but you can basically just do this all day long half hour hour two hours three hours doesn't matter if it gets too condensed you can come in here find some mobs people don't touch most of the time there is one like uh event mob that appears every now and again he's right here the Brandon Devourer Queen. Um, oh, that's in another location. I'm thinking of a different guy. But he spawns, and he'll have like six or seven of these Branded Char. I can solo the guy by myself if I want, but it does take time. So what I end up doing is I'll get on my Raptor, jump in the middle of them, grab them all close to me, hit him with a spin, they're dead. And about seven mobs like that, which gets me, you know, a couple dust. But the gold farm is very, very easy to do. So give it a try if you like it. I'll go through and re-up my magic find on this. I'll do just a half hour of it and I'll speed up the gameplay too. And then I'll show you just how much dust I can get in a single half hour. And then we'll times that by two, obviously. And that'll be our quote unquote per hour goal that we get from this activity. Obviously, as you go through, you know, you can create your own custom route. I'm sure everyone can come up with a better route than I have because I'm not like I'm not the smartest player. I'm not the most efficient player, but I just find things that I can enjoy and do at the same time. But I did want to make mention the experimental beacons. Um, even when I've seen other gold farmers out here trying to get the mobs, I don't see them use these almost ever. If you go up to an active one, you see you get your little prompt here, activate it, it gives you more mobs. And it's always, always more than one. So you can time it yourself if you want. Maybe the time to find one to actually summon them is less efficient and less speedy than just going in circles. I don't know. But sometimes when it when it gets condensed with other players, I always hit these beacons because it always nets me just a couple more mobs. I have emptied all my luminous dust. I have nothing in my inventory. We're going to go through the full duration of the pumpkin oil, which is just a half hour. And then at the end, whatever the amount of luminous dust that we've got, the value of it, we'll just times it by two. And that'll be what we get per hour doing this activity. So let's get started.
Okay, so it looks like the buff ran out. We went through a half of an hour. Now let's take a look at our item and what we got. A little pesky devourer here trying to ruin everything. Okay, minus those pants. None of those pants. We don't want none of that. And the dust, of course. Whatever. We'll just minus one dust and the pants. Okay, so that will go over there. All right, so we got 71 piles of luminous dust. And all these items you can see, there's some in that, but we won't count that. But all of these items came from this grind, except for that. So we see here, 100 barbs, you know, nine, it's not a lot, but it's still extra money. It can pay for your travel costs. Metal plates, when you salvage them, you get materials back. Materials, again, materials, materials. Now, depending on your magic item find, obviously, you can get some better loot that you can then dis, uh, break down and get something actually viable, maybe some glob swimming or something like that. So let's take a look. Trading post. Look at that, for just 14, we'll go to sell order. Go all the way to 71 minus one, because that pesky devour. So that net about five gold, 70 silver, times that by two. You've got, you're looking at about 12 gold just from this. Now, 11 and a half, 12 gold, you know, give or take a couple. So that's not bad for an hour of gameplay. That's mindless. You don't have to think about, and you're just doing whatever. Plus, you get other drops as well that could, depending on you know what you get, could add to your total gold value. Like I've got three rares here, so let's break them sweet, down sweet and treasure. see what we got. So I got a skin. Hey, that's pretty nice, actually. Didn't have this skin before. Got another skin. All right, and I got some materials, which are okay, but I got three globs of ectoplasm, which those sell for, at least right now, 20 silver each. So you're yeah, looking at 12 to 13 gold, give or take, depending on the items that you drop. So it's not a bad farm at all. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd appreciate that greatly, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.